Hello Digi Justins. This is DigiNova and I'm coming to you with a review of the Vital Bracelet. Just received this in the mail today after waiting like a week for it. Um it shipped all the way from Japan, I believe. And yeah, let's get on with the review. Um before I start this, I did do an unboxing of this. If you guys want to see that, then yeah go look at it but i kind of messed up on it so you know that happens anyway let's get into the re yeah let's get into the review first we'll start off with the box there's pulsemon there's vital bracelet with all the little apps and stuff they can do with it that's the egg hatching there's pulsemon there's your pulse link thingy and then, uh, and then right here you can see the, you can see the dim cart link logo. Down here it says virtual or virtual. It says vital bracelet digital monster, version white, and Bandai. Up here Japanese stuff that I can't read. Well, I can read it because it's translated into uh, hiragana, but I cannot read the kanji. <laughs> that I cannot read. I didn't learn how to read that yet. On the side, it shows Pulse Link, Touch Link, the App Log Link, which I cannot show off in this video because, you know, I don't have the app. It's uh, specific to Japan, so can't get that, or at least a Japanese Play Store. If you guys know how to get the Japanese Play Store without, you know, complications, then please let me know in the description. Or <sighs> comment section, not description. <laughs> And now on the back, more Japanese that I can't read. <laughs> Alright, we'll set that right here for... Oh, yeah. And on the top, it shows you what you get in the uh, box. Set that off to the side. We have the DIM card with uh, that cool-looking uh, Pulse... Er, Bulkmon, not Pulsemon. This digivolves from Pulsemon. This is Bulkmon. And here's a little DIM card. And you just pop it out like this. And there you go. Let's see if we can show it off. This is for Impulse City, if you guys were curious. Oh. Yeah, it's for Impulse City. Nothing on the back. Just pop that right back in. And then here is the Versus Memory. This is where you can uh, plug it into where you put in the DIM cards. And you can get to battle people that are like, right next to you. So it's kind of like a local battle. Uh, the, uh, the online battles and raid battles are coming soon, I've heard, but they are not out yet. Can my camera focus? Hello? Camera? Kind of need you to focus. Camera? Hello? There we go. And you can see right there. Put that down. Here's the charging cable for... The vital bracelet, if anything, focus. There we go. There's the charging cable. Unfortunately, it is USB um, micro. So, can, focus. It's used. It's micro USB. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, for some reason, it's not USB Type C, which obviously would have been better. But you know. And then here's the manual. Yeah, open that up so you guys can quickly look at it. Just showing you what you get again. Uh, showing you the heart rate sensor thing and the on switch. You guys can pause the video and try to translate that. I'm not going to because I, again, cannot read uh, kanji. So, and this will just take me forever. So, we'll put that back down. And then we'll have a look at the... I'm going to take this off. It's really hard to angle this. I'm going to look at the Vital Bracelet, which I had on already. So, it says DM on the um, top, which, unfortunately, people have complained that the DM logo kind of rubs off after um, a lot of use. And seeing as this is kind of like a Digivice and a uh, Fitbit, yeah, it... Uh, 
it's going to rub off kind of quickly. Come, come on, you can focus. Do it. Do it. Come on, there we go. And then on the side, this is, I found out this is a scroll button, like where you can uh, select which thing you're selecting. And then this is the like confirm button. Here's your little charging port for the, there's a charging port for when you're uh, running low on battery. Eh. And then here is the dim, here is the dim card place where you will put in your dim card. I already put in my uh, Impulse City dim, so I don't need to do that again. But uh, basically, you would just take the dim card like this, facing upwards, and then you would just put it in like this, and there you go. It's not doing anything right now because I didn't go to the setting that allows you to um, do local battles, but you know, it's fine. Another complaint that I've heard about these is that they're really bulky, but I don't really mind. On the bottom, you can see, if I can get this, there we go. You can see the on and off switch, the heart rate sensor, and the speaker. And then, if we turn this on. Uh-oh. What is this? Oh, it's just an impulsity thing, but you guys can't see that because my thing isn't focusing. Alright, uh, hold on. Can I... Ah, oh, I just got it to focus, too. Come on. There we go. Okay, you can see my little, um... I believe it's Dokimon. I believe. The Dokimon. If I'm translating that correctly. It's, uh, Dokimon. Okay, stop turning off! Okay, I have one, uh, vital point there, um, which is... The guy that looks like a stick man. The thing that looks like a stick figure, that's your like vital points, I think. And the bottom is obviously your steps. So I have 82 steps, even though I had like 300 earlier. But I guess it resets after a while. My thing will focus. Okay. And then... I'm pressing the select button, as you can... Well, if my thing will focus again... Anyway, this top, this top blurry white line is the uh, select button. That's what I'm pressing. And then you just do that, and then hit the bottom button to confirm. Dash of vital points, then we just hit the top button to move it. I have 69 vital points. That might be because I took it off, but I had 80 earlier. Oh, another complaint that people have had is that um, the heart rate sensor, for some reason, doesn't work with uh, darker skinned people, so it's uh, not really going to work all that well for me. But, you know, I'll make it work. Oh, whoops. And, okay. Um, okay, back to this. Then you can see your steps, which I, again, have 82 because it reset. And then there's the back button. So, now you can also hold down the bottom button and it will cancel. Never mind, I, I was lied to. It did it earlier, okay? And this, I think this is your Digimon's information. So there you can... Uh, you can see the name on the uh, top, scrolling past. Then it shows the days that's been, you know, alive. And since I just got it today, it hasn't been alive for a day yet. So... Eh. And, ah, no. Okay. And then we scroll again. And it shows your, what is this? It shows your, the DP, which I don't know what that is yet. The HP and the AP, which I also don't know what that is yet. Um, you guys can find that information about this on, like, I'll probably link it in the description where you can find out the uh, information. But, yes. Ah. That's pretty much it. There's training, which I can't go into yet because it's not um, a child yet. It is not a child. It is a... Uh, I don't know what the form is. I think it's like the base form. And here's this. I don't know what this is either. Oh, it's a backup thing. Okay, so this is where you go to backup your uh, Digimon. You, 
I believe you can back up as many as you want. On the watch, I believe it's three, but if you had the app, you'd be able to back up, like, all of them. Uh, eh. And then here's the app where you obviously connect the app. I can't show that off right now because I don't have the app. Uh, here's the settings. Uh, this is where you go to change the... Time. I skipped over it, dang it. Uh, this is where you go to ch change the date and time. Oh, dang it. And because it's 2021, you just hit the up button to get to 2021. Go down using the down button, or go to the next one using the down button. And then it's the fifth right now, so we just click in fifth, click next. It's the fourth, and then hit OK. If you hit the up button, it will cancel and it will say NG. And then you get this at the time, which is currently 4.09 right now, or close enough to it. So... Sorry, my thing keeps going out of focus. And then, ah, oh, I just messed it up. Crap. Alright, cool. And then I hit OK. And we go to the next one. Wallpaper. I'm not going to change my wallpaper, but yeah, you can just change it to this. Uh, depending on what DIM card you have, you will get a special wallpaper. So the one I have right now is the Impulse City uh, wallpaper. And you just hit OK, and there we go. Then Brightness, which I'm not going to mess with that right now, but you can probably assume what that does. And Oh, never mind, I changed it anyway. Oh, you can go even brighter, what? Then hit OK. And then go to Next. Oh, if it focus okay, that's the sound. You can't really change the sound, you can only turn it on and off, which I feel like they could have made it to where you can adjust the sound a little bit, but it's fine. And then we go to next, and then this is, what is this? Oh yeah, this is resetting your uh, Digimon information, which I don't want to do right now. And then there's back button, and that's the uh, Digimon Vita Brace. So, let this all zoom out. So... Um, honest thoughts, I love it, it fits, and, yeah, it's awesome. Oh, and, if you're curious, I do own an actual, another Digivice, so, I had a Skull Bluetimon up here. <laughs> it laid an egg, a shiny egg, and then faded away, so now I no longer have the Digimon, and I'm just stuck with this egg. Tell me how to hatch... The egg. I don't know how to hatch it. Anyway, that'll be the end of this video. Oh, and I should, before I end the video, I should probably mention it's not waterproof. And the DM on the uh, top of the Vita Bracelet, it rubs off. And it's a tad bit chunky, so yeah. Those might be some downsides for you buying it, but other than that, it's pretty okay for me. Anyway, that'll be the end of the video. Um, please like and subscribe. And until next time. Yes. <laughs> uh, until next time, this has been your Digi Destined, Digi Nova, signing off. Bye.